your school, your news. We are LMTV, Linmar Television. Winner of more than a dozen Metro and State Awards for broadcast excellence. Linmar, your, your news, news starts, starts now. Good morning, Linmar. It's Thursday, November 6, 2008. Here's a look at the stories making news across your Linmar campus. Our top story. Tonight, there will be a special recep reception for 25 Linmar High School art students. These 25 people listed on your screen have been chosen to have their artwork on exhibit at the Low Park Arts and Environment Center. It's part of the Marion Arts Council Special Marion School Art Gallery. It will be on display the entire month of November. Tonight's reception is from 7 to 8 p.m. at Low Park. Congratulations to these talented art students. It's Club Connection time, and LMTV's Emily Saville joins us with a special guest. Joining me in the studio is Pat Dayton from FBLA. Thanks for joining us. Yep, no problem. So for those of us who don't know, what is FBLA? FBLA stands for Futures Business Leaders of America. And what do you guys do? Well, we get together and attend meetings, participate in activities, and can community service and attend conferences. If someone wants to learn more about FBLA and wants to join FBLA, what should they do? Well, you should probably ask one of the five advisors that work together, Mr. Donaldson, Mrs. Lampy, Mr. Brinkmeyer, Mr. Heffley, and Mrs. Larson. Um, when and where do they meet? Well, we meet the first Tuesday of every month at the food court at 8 o'clock in the morning. All right, Pat, good luck with FBLA this year. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. We'll be back with more LMTV news right after this. Hold on, I'll tell him. Honey, it's Phil. The gold reserve is being attacked. Tell him I'll be right there. Don't forget to shut the window. Hmm. What? What? All right, what's the joke? What's so funny? Model UN is sponsoring a blood drive Wednesday, November 12th, 7.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. in the Upper Commons. Bring ID and also remember to eat before donating. Be sure to sign up in the Four Corners or see Mr. Garrels. Welcome back. The Science Club is getting ready for another trip to Costa Rica. Joining us is Mr. Hoffman, one of the organizers of the event. When are you guys planning to go to Costa Rica? Uh, we'll be leaving next July, late. Roughly around the 20th of July, nothing for sure yet. We're going to see, uh, we can get some set dates here in a little bit. What will your group be doing on the trip? Uh, the group will be doing a little bit of everything. It will be uh, doing canopy walks. We'll go to some national parks, you know, typical science type of activities. Whitewater rafting, kayaking, we'll be on the Pacific and the Caribbean beaches, volcanoes, um, kind of the whole, the whole ordeal. Sounds like fun. If someone wants to go, what should they do? Uh, they need to contact either myself, I'm in 217, it's Mr. Hoffman, or Mr. Hutchinson in G145. All right, anything else you want to add? Um, we're going to, real quick, we do have another parent meeting coming up next Monday. Uh, the, was that, the 10th? And if we had one last night, if you're not if you're really interested in going, come talk to us and we, uh, we need to get this going here. All right, thanks for joining us. Thanks. Zach, back to you. Thanks, Emily. And other news, seniors, this is important. Today is the day to place your graduation announcement orders. Company representatives will be here during lunch and again this afternoon from 4 to 6 p.m. in the Upper Commons for the parents' convenience. Seniors, your senior photo for the yearbook is due to Miss Kelly by December 19th. If you have questions about photo specifications, please see Miss Kelly today. Now, Drew joins us with today's sports. Thanks, Zach. Sophomore football players, your banquet is tonight at 5.30 in the Upper Commons. Please bring a hot and cold dish to share and your own drinks and table setting. Girls basketball players, there will be a meeting today after school in the Upper Commons. It is very important that you attend. Please see Mr. Becker if you have any questions. Jefferson is hosting a Metro Dodgeball Tournament this Saturday. See Mr. Stryker today and sign up for more information. There will also be a bowling meeting Friday after school in room I-015. That's sports, Zach. Back to you. Thanks, Drew. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and news from the counselors. Juniors and seniors planning to take PSEO college classes second semester should stop in the counseling office today. The Workplace Learning Connection internship program applications are due this Friday. For more information on these stories, stop by the counselor's office or check out their website. Now, Nay takes a look at your arts and clubs. Thank you. 
This just in, congratulations to Rajan Olsen, Stephen Gilliland, Greg uh, Dieselcone, Shu Maharar, and uh, Shyla Shanklin, who received individual awards at the math team meet in Platteville. Congratulations again to everyone who participated. On the Lindmar Club scene, voice members, please bring information on Greece, the country of the month, for your meeting at 315 in Miss Skeeling's room. Student Council will meet Tuesday morning at 8 in the Little Theater. Contest speech students, additions uh, for assemble acting will be Monday morning starting at 7.45 in room A-107. Please see Ms. Fry before that date. Key Club will uh, be decorating the Granger House for the holidays this Saturday from 1 to 4 p.m. Sign up in the Media Center if you are interested. Thespians, for your next, your next meeting is tomorrow after school in Ms. Smith's room. Spectrum will be viewing the movie Tying the Knot and discussing same-sex marriage beginning tomorrow morning at 8 in Ms. Mullock's room. Math team members attending the Waverly Shell Rock meet be at door 1 Saturday morning at 6.30. Remember to bring money for lunch. That's your club update. Back to you, Zach. Thanks, Nate. No, thank you. <laughs> Today on Channel 1, the latest news and more. That's today at 3, right here on LMTV. Now Drew has your first look at today's lunch. Thanks, Zach. It's a grilled chicken wrap with California blend veggies, grapes, and banana bread. The other line will feature the hamburger bar. The food court has sandwiches with chicken noodle or cheddar baked potato soup. That's the lunch, Zach. Back to you. Thank you, Drew. No problem. Weatherman Alex Starr says the lousy weather is here. His LMTV forecast calls for showers and storms today with a high of 50. Tonight, a slight chance of rain and snow showers with a low of 37. Tomorrow, a chance of rain and snow again with a high of 40. That wraps up today's edition of LMTV. Remember, LMTV is always available online. Just go to Linmar High School website. For the entire cast and crew, thanks for watching. Join us, join us again tomorrow. And Linmar, may the good news be with you. <laughs>